Hello everyone, I'm back, Lucha FM, with another Mystery Football Shirt review video. And in this episode today, we're going to review um, two companies. We're going to do the um, the follow-up shirt from um, Shirt in a Box, because I messed up and I accidentally ordered a small size. I don't know why or how I did that. So I've returned that, um, and we'll just wait and just, uh, and then we'll have the the new shirt for that after this one. But this one I'm really excited about. So this is um, the footballshirtclub.com. I haven't had one from these before, and what they do is they specialize in certain country shirts. So when they asked me for which shirt they were, well, as in like which teams do you want to avoid or something like that, I put a little note to say like I really, really want um, a shirt, a home shirt from Socho because basically that's the team, if people who, who know me, that's the team I'm managing on Football Manager. I'm really, really hoping this is in here. So we're just going to, I've already ripped the box open, I haven't looked, so we are going to know together. Oh my God. It's a yellow shirt, everyone. Oh, it's lens. It's lens. I got my hopes up there, but it's a really nice shirt though. Look at that. I love lens. Lens is one of my favourite books football clubs as well so it's a Reebok one so we'll see I don't think I've worn a Reebok football shirt before but we'll see kind of I really open it with Socho obviously they're going to have they're probably not going to have a Socho shirt in my size in stock um, that's dead stock or whatever anyway so <laughs> now, I think this is like a training shirt I oh, know it is a home shirt it is a home shirt Invicta is the sponsor Reebok nice little lens logo I do like lens. I do like. I, do, I love managing French teams anyway on Football Manager, so this is nice. And it's a yellow and red. I feel like Ronald McDonald or uh, Hulk Hogan in this shirt with the red and yellow. But yeah, it's quite nice. It feels nice as well. It's big as well. This will definitely fit me. Um, but yeah, I'll have a look and see what where it's from, um, as in like what season, and I'll let you know how much it it can cost you, and you'll see me in a second with it on. Right, so here it is on me. Um, it's quite baggy actually, to be honest. It doesn't. It's not sticking to my belly, so that's good. I like the the trim, the red trim. It's a bit unique. It looks like um, it's hard to explain. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it looks like when paint's dripping and you have got this this mark here. Yeah. Anyway, like I said, very nice. The look twelve for me, like so. Now this one is a vintage one as well. Um, well, it is, it is, yeah, it is vintage. Yeah, it's, it's over 15 years old. It's about 15 years old. So I'll show you the card, first of all, um, for you to focus on. So it's an RC lens top from 2010, 2011. And what it says on the card here, RC lens is a French professional football team based in the northern city of Lens in the Poste de Collet department. Um, it's nickname Le, Le Sang et O is um, in English the blood and gold comes from its traditional colours of red and gold um, so I thought this was yellow but it's gold so I stand correctly their traditional rivals are northern neighbours Lille with whom they contest the Derby du Nord in 1999 2000 they became U uh, UEFA Cup semi-finalists now we're losing that place in the final um, but yeah that's pretty good and also I get two cards as well so that's pretty good Neymar and Ronaldo so I'm going to keep these um, yeah they're pretty cool so I'll be back in a second and I'll tell you how much it costs and I'll also have a look at see what the squad was for lens back then right I'm back I've done a little bit of research for you so I'll just quickly show you this so here we are so on classic football shirts um, this shirt in a 2XL sells for $44.99 um, I have a look on eBay. This shirt in the size that I'm in, a 3XL, this exact shirt sold on eBay um, for $54.99. Um, bearing in mind I paid about 37 38 quid or something like that for it. So, yeah, so I definitely got my money's worth. If anything, probably got more than I should have. The only downside is um, it took them ages to get me the shirt from when I ordered it and I, I don't know why they I emailed them and they emailed me back going sorry we um it, it want to be out to you in two days and 
uh, something to, they said something to do with we put the wrong address in or something I don't know so don't don't hold that against them it, it's probably just a rarity um, but you know I'm more than happy with this shirt I'm definitely going to get another couple of shirts from these in the future so they are up there with classic football shirts uh, not classic sorry um, surprise shirts for me as the best mystery football shirt um, people and then also just to give you a little bit of nostalgia um, this is the lens squad from back in that season I'm just going to scroll down see if there's any oh, there you go Serge Aurier um, there might be some players you recognize there's not many I recognize on here Raphael Varane he was there we know him um, I think they have put oh yeah Forgan Hazard uh, Sidi Keita uh, Conga Kondo Gobi or whatever his name is um, their ones I remember I think Eduardo and that's and uh, I think that's it really yeah nobody else I recognise but yeah like I said overall not too bad um, but yeah I really like this shirt it's a nice shirt and it's brand new as well so pretty good when you consider it's a vintage shirt but yeah more than happy I shall be definitely wearing this quite a bit um, definitely ordering from them again but anyway I'll uh, I'll be back in a second with the replacement shirt for um, shirt in a box right I'm back it's another day and it means another shirt um, this is the replacement shirt from shirt in a box I've already ripped up the box to save time I haven't seen what's in here so hopefully it's a good shirt they, um, it was my cock up by the way um, so don't blame Sir the box for that one that was my fault I don't know how I did that because I would never order a size small but I did accidentally somehow um, so they've replaced it with the right size shirt um, it's a different shirt I th they told me it's a different shirt to the one that I ordered the other day so let's just open up and see how it, it what it is um, there we are. so it's a green shirt um, it's a green shirt just way to do it. Ah, okay. So this is a um, Verde Bremen shirt. It's quite nice. It reminds me. It's a very similar, uh, different colours, obviously, but very similar to that Southampton shirt they had quite a few years ago, um, which is basically. It just feels like a early nineties replica or something, doesn't it? Like a modern version of a. A throwback, but yeah, it's pretty cool. The back, um, the logo on there is not too bad. It's it's not too, like it's not ruining the shirt that much. Um, the logo is really nice. Yeah, I'll just do a close up for you. The Verde Bremen. So this, I have had a few Bayern Munich and a few Dortmund shirts, but it's nice to have to add to the collection. But yeah, like I said, brand new with tags. Um, cost me about forty quid, including delivery which ain't too bad, um, so I'll be back in a second and I'll let you know how much I can get this for and also you'll see me wearing it. Right, I'm back and I've managed to find this shirt on vintage football shirts, it wasn't on the usual one I look at, classic football shirts, but according to this, it's on sale for 40 quid, I paid about 35 for it, um, but it's, it's usually 85 quid, it is the Verde and Bremen shirt from last season, so quite a modern one as well. Um, but it's really nice. I quite like it. I could, I could, I could happily wear this out and about, and I wouldn't be too bothered. It's um a little bit tight, I mean, which we'll see in a second now. If I just stand up here, so it's a little bit figure hugging, but it's not too bad. Like I said, um, I quite like it. I like. The, I, I'm starting to like. I never used to like the color green. Um, but over the years now, I'm starting to like wearing green. I really like that Celtic shirt that I got from um, that fake football shirt website, and I can't remember what it is now, but I really like the, the wearing it, to be honest. So even though I thought it was a, an island home shirt, it was actually a Celtic shirt. But yeah, yeah, I'll do a little swirl for you. But yeah, like I said, very nice. It feels nice on me as well. The material's quite nice. Um, but yeah, like I said. So yeah, anyway... Um, on that note, I have some sad news to tell you about. So, um, due to my financial situation not being very good at the moment, I am not able to buy any 
football shirts for a while. So no mystery shirt boxes, no fake shirts or anything like that. Now that might change in a couple of months, but um, for the for the rest of 2024, I don't think I'll be doing any football shirt content videos. Now if that changes, I will state that on my community page or you'll just suddenly see a video but yeah, at the moment, this one's going to be the last one for uh, for a while. Um, I am sorry because I know that few, there's a few that do like them, but it's costing me. I mean, um, let's put it in perspective. It's costing me about 40 quid per shirt. And if I'm buying, say, like four a month, that's, you know, that's a, a fair bit of money, um, especially when I'm not in work at the moment. So, you know, don't get me wrong, but I've got a bit of money here and there, but like... At the end of the day, I can't be wasting that money on things when I've got other things to prioritise. So, yeah, uh, understandably. Now, obviously, if any of you want to donate me money, that might be tricky. I'm wondering if I'm joking. But no, so for the foreseeable future, um, no football shirt content. And also, to be honest, I'll be honest with you, I've got one little wardrobe in this house and I'm struggling to fit all the football shirts in. So, yeah, there might be a few... Uh, I might end up doing a few giveaway videos or something, but you're going to have to be like a 2XL, 3XL, depending on whether it's a legit shirt or a fake shirt, um, to to want to bother asking for it. Because, yeah, anyway, I'm rambling on. I'll leave you to it, and you'll see me doing the usual video game content, but for now, no football shirt content today. So thank you for watching. If you've been watching the mystery shirt content, I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, let me know in the comments section... Um, if you have enjoyed it or haven't enjoyed it, give me a bit of an idea whether I've made a mistake and whether I feel like it's worth keep going with the mystery shirt boxes. Because um, my aim is to try and get monetized on YouTube to make money. Now, obviously, if I can do that, then I can start buying shirts and stuff like that. And we can, you know, and stuff like that. But anyway, that is in the very distant future if it happens at all. So, yeah, I'm off. See you soon. All the best. Bye.